Welcome to this quick tour through the fiber optic software RP Fiber Calculator. This software is a highly convenient tool for calculations in fiber optics. You can calculate fiber modes, simulate how you launch light into the fiber, find out how it propagates in there, what it does after the fiber, how light can be coupled from one fiber to another, and how light is reflected from fiber ends. The software is applicable to all weekly guiding optical fibers with a radially symmetric refractive index profile and thus to the vast majority of optical fibers. Exceptions are photonic crystal fibers and certain specialty fibers. Laser amplification in active fibers is not treated here. For that we have another software named RP Fiber Power. In this video I show you the professional version of RP Fiber Calculator. Many of the features are already available in the free version, but the pro version has various very useful extras. The nice graphical user interface makes the software very easy to handle. You find everything in various tabs and we will now have a look at these. In the tab index profile you can define the design of a fiber. Actually you can switch between 10 different designs and that means between different fibers or between different versions of a fiber design. Each one can have a name entered here so that you can easily recognize it. For each fiber design you can set the core radius. The core is subdivided into some number of core segments, which you can change here. Further, there are different profile shapes. For now, we have a step profile, and you can change it simply by clicking into the diagram. You can also have profiles consisting of linear pieces or use a spline interpolation. In the simplest case, the refractive index profile is directly determined via the diagram, as you have seen here. The pro version of the software also allows you to edit the index values in a table. Another possibility, only in the pro version, is to first define a doping concentration profile in the doping profile tab. For example, this could be the concentration of germania in a germanosilicate fiber. We can then have the refractive index calculated from that doping profile. Note that this will also depend on the wavelength to be entered here if the used material data include chromatic dispersion. Indeed, if I change the wavelength, you see how the refractive index changes. The material data can be seen by pressing on the M button over here. You can freely edit these data, for example, insert data for additional materials. Another possibility is to define the refractive index profile via a mathematical expression. For example, here I have used a simple expression for a parabolic index profile of a graded index fiber. If I modify it, you see immediately how the curve changes. By the way, the same can be done for doping profiles. Down here, you can get some help text for the currently selected tab. If you need more comprehensive explanations, by pressing on the button down here, you could get them from the RP Photonics website in your browser. On the lower right side, you can read what additional features are available in our RP Fiber Power software. 
In the tab Guided Modes, you can now get the properties of all guided modes calculated. Simply enter a wavelength, press Calculate, and you see the list of all modes coming up, showing the following properties. The L and M indices of the LP modes. Beta is the phase constant. N effective is the effective refractive index. A effective is the effective mode area. Then you have the fraction of optical power which propagates within the fiber core. And finally the cutoff wavelength of the mode. You can sort the table by any of these properties simply by pressing on a column in the table header. On the right side you have the mode profile displayed either as a 2D profile or as a radial plot. Both works either for optical intensities or for complex phases. By double-clicking on a mode entry you get its mode profile displayed. By moving the mouse cursor over there you can probe the local optical intensities. In the Pro version you can also export mode properties. In this form you can select which mode properties are of interest and this is used to construct an expression which defines the format of the output. You can edit this expression manually if you like. You can then generate the text output here copy to the Windows clipboard, also save it to a file. Next we go to the tab for launching a laser beam into a fiber. Here you can enter the beam waist radius and also some misalignment of the fiber concerning position and angles. When you have set these parameters, click on Calculate Launch Efficiency and you will see how much of the input power gets into certain guided modes. For the situation calculated here, you can now check the propagation within the fiber in the Propagation tab. Simply select a certain propagation distance, press Calculate the Profile and you will see how the profile will look at this location in the fiber. Again you could switch from intensity to complex amplitudes where the complex phase is coded with a color scale. Also you can inspect the far field profile for the light exiting the fiber at this point. In the tab Fiber to Fiber, one can calculate the coupling of light from one fiber to another, but only in the Pro version. Just select the input and output fiber and the wavelength. Also, you can determine a transverse offset of the fiber cores and an angle offset which may result from non-normal fiber cleaves. Press the button Calculate Coupling and you see how much power you get into certain modes of the output fiber. Simply change the coupling conditions and see how the coupling changes. You may calculate the coupling between the specific modes given here or specify no input and output modes and get the coupling for all pairs of modes. Finally, in the tab Fiber Ends, you can calculate how light is reflected at a bare fiber end. Here I have selected a certain fiber and wavelength and assumed a normal cut, zero degrees. The input mode is said to be the fundamental mode of the fiber. When you now calculate the reflection, 
you find coupling only into that same mode. If you set a different cut angle, say 2 degrees, you find that light is fed into various modes. Particularly for optimizing fiber designs, the Pro version has another very convenient feature. It is the Mode Property Display. On the left side, you can enter any mathematical expression, and on the right side, you see the calculated results from these expressions. The expressions can refer to functions, which give you the mode properties corresponding to your fiber design. For example, it currently displays the number of guided modes, the effective area of the fundamental mode, the cutoff wavelength of the LP11 mode, and a user-defined figure of merit function. If you want to optimize a fiber design, it is extremely useful to have this feature. For example, define a figure of merit function according to your design goal and have its value displayed directly below the index profile, which you can then modify. You can change, for example, the core radius and see how the figure of merit changes and you get closer to your design goal. Also, of course, you could switch now to the expression, change something here and see how it affects the design goal. And you could, of course, enter doping profiles. For example, here, if it depends on the doping profile, you can change it here and also see the figure of merit value vary. So you see that optimization of fiber designs is made quite easy with this powerful software. You have seen now that RP Fiber Calculator is a really nice tool for calculations, simulations and optimizations concerning optical fibers. RP Photonics gives you for free a version with which you can already do a lot and for a fair price a substantially more powerful tool. We hope that you will enjoy it that you will tell your colleagues about it and that you will keep in mind RP Photonics has even much more powerful software to offer, namely the RP Fiber Power software. Thank you very much for your attention.